This is MSJ Chem and in this video we look at structure and properties of covalent compounds. Covalent compounds have two types of structure, molecular covalent and giant molecular which is sometimes called network covalent. Each type of structure has different physical properties such as melting and boiling point, electrical conductivity, solubility and hardness. Let's start by looking at molecular covalent structures. Here are some examples of molecules that have molecular covalent structures. They form discrete molecules such as CH4 methane, H2O water and CO2 carbon dioxide. Molecular covalent compounds are mostly liquids and gases due to the weak intermolecular forces between the molecules. Next we look at solubility. Non-polar molecules are soluble in non-polar solvents. For example, methane, CH4, which is a non-polar molecule, is soluble in C3H8, which is propane, and that's also a non-polar molecule. Polar molecules are soluble in polar solvents. For example, C2H5OH, which is ethanol, is soluble in H2O, which is water. Ethanol has an OH group, which means it can form hydrogen bonds between itself and a water molecule. And this is the reason for ethanol's solubility in water, the fact that it can form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. Next is electrical conductivity. Molecular covalent substances are poor conductors of electricity as they have no free moving or mobile ions in solution. Now we'll move on to the next type of covalent structure, that's the giant covalent structure. So giant covalent structures do not form discrete molecules. Examples include diamond, silicon and silicon dioxide. Here we can see the structure of diamond, this is silicon and this is silicon dioxide. As you can see, they do not form discrete molecules, rather they form giant covalent structures. If we look at the structure of silicon dioxide, which is SiO2, you can see that each silicon atom is bonded to four oxygen atoms and each oxygen atom is bonded to two silicon atoms. Next we look at the properties of giant covalent structures. Giant covalent structures do not conduct electricity because they have no free moving ions. They are not soluble in polar or non-polar solvents. They have high melting and boiling points due to the strong covalent bonds between atoms. They are also very hard substances and that's because of the strong covalent bonds between the atoms. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet. And also all my videos can be found at www.msjchem.com.